chemical equilibrium. We're going to look at the heating and concentration effects on this reversible reaction. Cobalt chloride is blue in this form, whilst it is pink in this form. Right, first we're going to look at the temperature effect. Here we have some cobalt chloride in pure alcohol, it's blue, and to these three we've added a little bit of water to make it go a purplish color. Mm. We're now going to put one in hot water, kettle water, and the other in cold ice water. And very soon we can see that the cold one has gone pink and the hot one has gone blue. So let's swap them around and try it again. It takes a bit of time for the liquid in the test tube to reach the temperature of that in the beaker. And again we see the cold one goes pink and the hot one blue. The heating effect. Heating speeds up all reactions, but according to Le Chatelier's principle, heating favors the endothermic reaction more. Why? If we heat it, according to Le Chatelier, the equilibrium will shift in such a way as to remove the heat, which is the endothermic reaction. If we look at the statement, this symbol, delta H is less than zero, means delta H is negative. And so the forward reaction is the exothermic reaction. And the reverse reaction, the endothermic. So heating it favors the endothermic, the reverse reaction, thus making it bluer. Similarly, cooling it favors the forward reaction, the exothermic reaction, and thus making the mixture pinker. Now we're going to just mix them up again to get them all at the same temperature. And we start again. This time we're going to investigate the concentration effect. So, we're going to add some water to the one on the left. And quite clearly you can see that it's gone pink. To the one on the right, we're going to add some concentrated hydrochloric acid. Acid has H plus iron plus chloride ions. And the chloride ion is the common iron in this case. And again we see it go blue. Explaining the concentration effect. Adding water certainly favored the forward reaction making it pinker. It would be incorrect to say that the concentration of water increases thus forcing it this way. Water is water. It doesn't matter if you have a small amount or a large amount. The concentration is constant. So rather we consider that there's a greater dilution effect of the ions on the right hand side than the left. Thus lowering their concentration and if you lower the concentration then the equilibrium shifts in that direction. It shifts to the right thus making it pinker. Adding concentrated hydrochloric acid is adding the chloride ions in the hydrochloric acid which is common with the chloride ions on this side. So we say it's the common ion effect. Adding more chloride ions thus drives the reaction in the reverse direction, making it bluer. 